Hello everybody, I'm going to do a review on this quick access biometric pistol safe from Century Safe. This is model number QAP1BE. About a year ago I had done a review on their non-biometric version which is a QAP1E. And Century Safe had seen it and they contacted me a couple of weeks ago and offered to send me a biometric version for review which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, they also indicated that they wanted me to do the review like I had purchased the safe myself which I also thought was cool and that's exactly what I am going to do. The safe itself comes with, of course a manual. The manual is very easy to follow, very easy to understand, no problems there at all. It does come with a, some warranty information. <clears throat> the warranty is for one year from the purchase date for registered purchasers. Uh, if there's any problems with it they will either fix it, replace it, refund your money, or issue you a credit towards one of their other products. It also comes with two lag bolts and two washers if you wanted to mount it to a wooden structure. If you want to mount it to a, let's say a steel structure or concrete you would need to source out your own fasteners, no big deal. It also comes with two access slash override keys so you can get into it. Now I'd had it out, I have two of my prints in it right now. This will accept four fingerprints. It can either be four of yours or two from you, two from somebody else, or maybe even one print from four people, depending on how you want to set it up. Uh, so I went ahead and played with it in advance so I really knew how to how to use it and so far I'm really impressed with the effectiveness and speed of access with this fingerprint reader here, this biometric reader. So let's get into it. Use your key and open it up. It has a gas strut. It opens up really quick. It is lined with a closed cell foam on the bottom about three-eighths of an inch. It has about a quarter inch on the sides and on the top of the lid to protect what you have in it. Uh, I wanted to go a little bit further with this uh, because some folks may be working in conditions where they're getting grimy or greasy, working around machinery or whatnot, so I put my two of my prints in it uh, with my fingers clean. And then I went as far as to go out and really dirty one of my fingers under the hood of my car and just grind a bunch of stuff in there so we can test. Because some folks may be like that. Uh, secondly, a good option for this, not just in your home, but might be in your car. You know, some folks may have a, a open carry or a concealed carry depending on what state you're in. And if you can't go into a business because it's prohibited, you need to secure your firearm in your vehicle. So this may be a good option to maybe put down in your trunk and bolt it down so you can put your firearm in the trunk but inside the safe. So with that being said, if it was down in a, in a trunk, I'm going to go ahead and try one of my thumbs because it just seems easier to use a thumb. So I'll use an index finger and a thumb when we program it. Uh, the inside of it's quite nice. It's it's built heavily. It's probably about 11 pounds. Uh, but let's go ahead and get into uh, showing you how it opens. The default code that's in it for the keypad is one two three four one. So you strike any key to bring it up out of standby, and then one two three four one, and there you go. It's open. Now you can go too fast with this. You know, you do need to develop your speed because you can miss your keystrokes. And if you miss them, I'll just do it. We're blinking red here, it looks like three times, and now we can do it again. Not a big deal there, but you need to play with your speed because you can miss it. Now if you put in an incorrect code five times, it is going to lock you out for two minutes. You cannot use either function here, the biometric or the keypad. Now I didn't really test to see if I put it in incorrectly this way and then use a finger uh, to see if it would lock me out in the combination of the two or if it's five here and five here. It doesn't really matter to me. But let me go ahead and show you how well the fingerprint reader works 
and there's three ways that you can do it you can push a button and then swipe so I'll do that I'll push one button and swipe my finger and it opens right up very quick very fast second way that you could do it is just tap your finger on this and it'll wake it up tap and then scan and you see it open right up the third way you could do it is just lay your finger down and it will wake up and then pull your finger so let's do that and you saw it open right up now that was with my clean finger now we're going to try a couple with the one that I dirty just to see how well it works so I'm just going to do it this way and it did take it I'm going to try it a couple of times and it took it I'm going to do it one more time and it did work let me go ahead and try it really fast it worked swiping my finger that fast that was that was actually pretty good so far I'm really impressed with this so what you're going to want to do when you get it is put your key in open it up like I said pull the cover off right here pull out your battery tray the reset button or button you push down in here to enter or change codes is down there in the middle I like that because it's behind the tray it's behind the cover there's really nowhere you can fish and hit that and then reset this from the outside it's very good very good design implementation there in my opinion so let's go ahead and start with changing this code right here on the keypad it's one two three four one I'm just gonna put it in reverse you press and hold the button these lights will light up and now it's ready for the code four three two one four I'll just do it in reverse and you have to wait and it'll it'll blink here in a minute and tell you that it's ready to go now you can put in between four and six digits any combination of that so now it's ready to go and we'll test it. bring it up four three two one four opens right up no problem so to put your fingerprint in it will accept four prints that could be two for you two for somebody else it could be four of yours it could be four individual people with one print however you want to do it so to set the primary print you would press and hold just like you would for here and once it's lit up like this you're ready to put your print in so I'm gonna start with my index finger I'm just gonna swipe it this will blink once and you just keep swiping it and eventually this light will blink three times and tell you that it has enough scans for that print and here it comes one two three immediately switch to your next one we're gonna use my thumb on this one scan you know and you may have to do this five to ten times and then one two three now it should accept that now so let's try it I'll do my index finger first it took that one now I'm gonna try my thumb and it took my thumb so far we've had no misreads on that at all one thing I like about the reader that I have discovered is this like I said if you time this out you have to wait for that light to turn off so for example if I time this out I have to wait and now I can wake it up and then put in my code and it will open the reader behaves a little bit differently and I like it I'm gonna try a finger that will not register it didn't register red light and I can immediately hit my index finger and it opens I like that so even if you're doing your first finger one that's actually in it and it misreads it you can immediately come back with it so let me try this in a different way let me try to put in a wrong code here and just see what happens okay if I'm over there I have to wait and then it will open up but like I said you know if I put in a finger that's not in it and it blinks red I can immediately come back with a finger that's good so that even makes it quicker to get into 
So the biometric function is definitely far superior than the keypad in my opinion. It works great. So I've shown you how to put those in on the primary one. Uh, let me show you how to do the secondary one. And even though I have two in here, I'm going to do it anyway. You're going to press and hold until these light up. Let go, press and hold it again until they light up and blink. And see how these are lit? Now it's going to take a new finger. I'm going to change it to these two. So I'll just keep scanning it until it blinks three times. There's one. And there we go. So now it should accept these two fingers. And it did. There's one. Let me try the other one. It took that one. Now let me go to the index finger I originally had in it. See now it does not work. So that's basically how you program it. Now you may want to erase them, and I'll show you how to erase them. Let's say we want to erase the primary print. Press and hold once. And then these are all lit. Swipe your finger, any finger, one time and just wait. And it'll take about 10 seconds and it's going to erase the primary print. There we go. So it's finished. So now it should not take these two fingers. It didn't like the thumb. And it did not like my index finger. So it erased the primaries. Secondary, same thing to erase the print. Or change them, either way. Press once. Press and hold until they blink again. It's lit up here on these LEDs. Swipe once. And then just wait. And that will erase all the prints out of it. Or like I said, you can change the prints. And there we go. So now it shouldn't work on any of these fingers. And it does not. So I'm going to put in my primaries one more time. I'm not going to bother with the secondaries. Okay, well you see it blinking now? I put it in five times. This is what happens. I've locked it out. I did that accidentally, but now you can really see how that works. So I can't do anything with it at this point for two minutes. So I'll just continue on. I'm going to bring in a couple weapons here real quick just to show you about what you can put in it. Uh, like I did the, the other review. Here's an LC9. All kinds of extra space with an LC9. You know, if you had a, a light on this or whatnot, no problem at all to put that one in there. And then this is a Glock 17 Generation 4. You know, this is a really big handgun here. It fits in there just fine with the magazine. You know, you could put maybe a light or something else in there with it. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to get something like this in here with if you have a light on the rail that sticks out too far. If it's below the barrel itself, it, you still have room to put that in there. And then here's a revolver. This is a 357, probably a four inch barrel. You know, it, it is, you have to put it in there specifically, just like the other one. Between this one and the other model, dimensionally they're the same. Only true difference is the biometric portion of it. Uh, but you can get it in there. You could put, uh, you know, some other valuables in there with it. Uh, but all in all, it seems to really be a good product, and I'm really liking the biometric feature. Uh, 
another good benefit of that is if you have a specific code in here to use the keypad and myself I wanted my wife to be able to have quick access to it she's gonna have to remember that code so I can key in her fingerprints and all she has to do is know how to swipe it and she's in there to a weapon where she could protect herself which is a good thing so these retail for about hundred and seventy nine dollars and in my opinion hundred seventy nine dollars to keep uh, keep it away from people uh, and small children and whatnot I think that's a very small price to pay uh, so let me go ahead and put in one more print here I'm gonna press and hold since we can now do it and I'll just key in my index finger again and just keep swiping it until it blinks three times here we go. Immediately change to the second finger. And there we go. Test it. One finger. Two fingers. I really do like this product I really do like the biometric function on it and it seems to work flawlessly uh, at least through my testing you know I personally would not hesitate to get one of these uh, I think it's great honestly so thanks for watching guys and good luck